Hey everyone, welcome back to the World Coin Hunt. We're now on to bag number four. So we've got one more to go after this, so we're nearly there. Ooh, it's over. Oh. All right, let's see what we've got in this for bag number four. Nice little coin there from Malaysia. I think I want a few of them now. Spanish coin again. Five pesetas. Nineteen fifty seven at the top. It's down there. Mm. Not a big coin this time. Uh, South Africa. One D. Wow. Cool. Ah, 1941. If that's how I couldn't see a date on it, it's huge. It's sitting at the top there. Back to the Netherlands again. 5G, 1990. Another Netherlands one to pop on my new Mr. page. Once I've set that all up, I'll leave a link in the description, but it won't be. Done quite yet, so it took me an hour and a half to do the first bag. <laughs> United States of America, one cent. 1966. Cool, put that one over there. Oh, French, five centimes, 1994. Probably got more French coins than I have English coins, haven't it? Another one cent. 1967 Greece this time now I'm starting to learn these now I don't even need to look at my sheet Though I think there's a couple on there that I haven't had yet so they're either in this bag or the next bag 1976 five something <laughs> Nah, Sweden. One Krona, nineteen seventy three. Another big coin. Hundred lira. I think this is, yeah, Italian. Italy. A few of them as well. Back to France again. Cool, 50 francs. 1952. Oh, that's got like a, a, a rooster. That's the word on there. Can't remember what it was called then. Norway this time. Five aura. Or to my day, want to say it. 1970. Is it a fat coin? One dollar. Now, judging by the picture, I'm going to say Australia. And I was right. 1984. That is really cool. I love that. See, you need more animals like that on our coins. Though, probably not kangaroos because we don't have kangaroos over in the UK. <laughs> Netherlands again. 25. CT cents, I'm guessing that stands for 1990. Meat marks down there. I know some countries it means like different mint officers, so like some places mint less coins than other places. Oh, Netherlands again this time. 1G, yeah, I keep thinking that's a C, but it's not. There's like a little tail sticking up. 1972, yeah, I had a lot of trouble finding one of them on. You missed us. I was like, it's not going up. I ain't got any of them coins. And was that because it's a G, not a C? Belgium, five francs. Nineteen fifty. 
kroner eller rundt. Okay. And this is the gecko-y type thing on this one. I'm going to say New Zealand, I reckon. Yay. 1981. Um, 50 coin. Actually, I know that one. I'm looking at my little list and it's not on there. 1997. That was a mystery. I'll have to figure that one out. Germany, 1985. Pretty leaf. 10 Fennig. Number one, I had trouble finding on New Mystics, so I was spelling it wrong. I've got half penny. In the UK. 1973. So they weren't phased out long before I was born. Wow. So I can't remember, yeah, I can't remember them from being young. I got too many outputs put me back. A few back. Another one cent from America. Green colour one, this one. 1943, uh, looks like a little B underneath that, see how many cents I get this time, I can't remember how I got in the last bag, it was quite a few, oh, back to the big 10p from the UK, 1976, huge that is, Germany again, by Fennig this time, Oh, farthing, 1942. So, so that should be, yeah, UK, but George the Fifth, I think. Okay, there we have a UK one. Oh, yeah, but let's move the penny that way as well. Half P even. Oh, we've got another half P here. It's been the half P's. 1971. So tiny they are. Oh, holy coin, holy holy. 1969. Ah, Denmark. 25 ore. It's a cool coin, I like that one. More American sense. I think I've got about eight or nine in the last bag. Let's see if we can beat that this time. 1996. So I keep doing this too low down. Letter D there. Germany again. 50 Fennig this time. 1989. That's cool. I like that one. Five cents. 1948. Where's it going to be for? Ah, Netherlands again. It's got a baby on it this time. Oops. Just throwing it around again. Little lion on this one. 1963. I think I found out this was Sri Lanka. I might be wrong though. So I'm now looking at all my notes on my page and I'm like, which coins are that for again? Some of them look so similar. And Malta, the heptagon inside the circle again. 1991. Crabby for five cents. He's cool, I like him. Five euro cents. 
No one, I don't know. I'm going to look that one up. It's got OER, I think, up there. Two thousand and two. It's a few euros. They're not going to be that old yet because they haven't been out for particularly long. Another farthing from nineteen forty-two. From the UK again. Two farthings and two half pennies in this bag. Wow. Another American one cent. Nineteen ninety-two this time. A letter D. We've got five now. There it is. Sorry, throwing the coins around, lost it then. Yeah, shop. Five Krono. Sweden, nineteen eighty-two. That's a huge coin. I do like it though. Oh, another big 10p. It's the doubler bag, this one. 1976. Over there with the other one. Tiny coins again. 10 cents. I'm going to say Singapore. No, oh, no, Hong Kong. Went far out. 1990. Five. Ah, oh, this one's um, definitely Sri Lanka. Five cents, nineteen twenty-six. Oh, that's square coins. There's any countries still out there that use the square coins? They do. That'd be cool. Like something that you can still like, still technically like legal tender, that'd be really cool. Another 10 fenning, fenning, from Germany again. Next, please. Oops, Spain, 1997. Norca, Reserva, Dedla, Biosphere, I think that says. I don't speak any Spanish. Five percent. This that must be like some sort of commemorative coin. I reckon I have to look that one up. I like that one. Nineteen ninety-seven. Now a French coin, a plasticky feeling one, or aluminium. I think it says on the list they're made out of. 1947, two francs. I'd like to say I'm not spot spotting you, mister, but I've learned a lot of them in the last few days. Ireland, 1986, 20p. Oh, that's got a horse on it, that one. If that one isn't worth much, I will definitely get that to my niece. She loves horses. Another Netherlands. Five CT again, two year two thousand millennium coin that one. Yeah, that was one. Oh, try Japanese one yen. Try and do it so it's not too shiny. Through the date, so I just can't keep up with that. So maybe you, any of you, know any Japanese and knows the date? I'll find it out when I add it on, but not right this minute though. One Fennig again. G uh, Germany. You said Japan again. No, that was not bad. I've pulled out all the big coins already. I'm down to loads of little tiddly ones. Or from Norway, 1968, cute little bird 
Malaysia, Tencent, 1976. Belgium, five francs, 1973, I think that says. Oh, it was starting there. Cool. Oh, that one. Uh, Spaniard again, five pesetas, 1975. Keep doing the upside down, look. Get a headache. Belgium again, one franc, 1950, now just for change of scene we'll go back to Germany, 10 pfennig, there's a dupe clips in this bag, never mind, it happens, now Hong Kong, 10 cents, 1974, One penny. Ooh. Finland, if I vaguely remember. Not even read it very well. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Back to Lemelica over the other side now. One cent, nineteen eighty. Oh, six now. Netherlands again. Change point. Twenty-five cent, nineteen eighty-nine. Oh, two in this bag as well. Thailand. I don't remember this one now. The one bat or bart, I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh, yeah. So I say, I didn't read the date out, but I can't read it because I don't know how to read those letters. Germany again, 1950. One fiddy this time. Another one cent. One P, one penny, whatever they whatever we want to call it. And America, nineteen seventy-six. Right. One go. Last handful. Double check the bag. Nope, we're good. It's the last bag I accidentally left a coin in the corner. I didn't notice it until I was packing away, so I've added it's one of the coins in here somewhere. I can't remember which one it was now. 1976, five cent. Netherlands again. I've oh, had two of them as well. Yep. Definitely a double bag, this one. Quarter Ooh. Albania, I think I vaguely remember finding out. 1927, that is really shiny for a coin from 1927. Wow. I've seen coins over here dirtier than that that are really like a couple of years old. 25 all from Denmark. 1969, another coin with a hole in. Euros again. Or a euro, Spain again. 2001, 5 cents, like that one, fish queen, 1954, I woke up and said 54, 64, 34, ah. Italy, aluminium coin, I think I found out this was Japanese. 
if anybody wants to work the gate out, feel free. I've probably been showing you them sizes, and that isn't even the date on that size, it probably just says Japan. <laughs> That's a really cool coin. Germany with a like an eagle or something on it. One Deutschmark, nineteen ninety. Greece. If I'm going for Paris, me possibly nineteen ninety. Really hope I'm not offending anybody the way I pronounce some of these names. Two euro cents. Spain again. Sorry, 2001. Malaysia, 10 cent, 1992. Cool. Hong Kong, 10 cents, 1972. I feel like I'm doing the video twice over here. T coin again, 10 cents. 1972. Ah, Netherlands. That's tiny. Quite a lot of coins from Netherlands today. So we've got two, four, six, eight. Hey, let's make it nine, just because we can. One round, sorry. 1967, 1G. Oh, that's cool. Flowery design. I'm gonna say either Australia or New Zealand, judging by the size of it. Yep, New Zealand. I was right. Oh, half right. 1971. Another Hong Kong, 10 cents. It's got like a indentation on the outside of it, just Ah, there it is. 1955. I was looking for the date, you couldn't see it. Two of them as well. Back to Malaysia, 10 cent, 1968. I'll go through the ones we've seen before a bit quicker. Oh, wow, that's cool. the Netherlands. Night oh, I'm just bringing it nearer to me so I can see the date. 1945. So I can't really see that very well. That is really cool. Oh half a cent says down the bottom I was say I couldn't work out what it was. Half a cent. That's really cool. I've got ten Netherlands coins now. If I should I suppose I've already found three French coins, but there's another one here. Ten centimes, nineteen ninety two. Ah, getting away from me. Ten with a little plant on it. Ah, South Africa, South Africa, nineteen sixty five. Twenty-five ore from Sweden. Desi coin. Nineteen sixty-nine. Two hundred lira. Nineteen eighty-one. I think it's going to be Italy. Yep, Italy. I'm learning my currencies very slowly. Another Netherlands one. Nineteen ninety-six. One. Sorry, five. CT. But I ran out of room. I mean, Netherlands line. It's getting longer. We'll have two lines next time. Ten. Red ticker. I should know this by now. Switzerland. That's it. 1975. Back to Thailand again. I 
don't know what that's going to be. I haven't got a clue. That's going to be a fun one to find on on the website. I just guess I find another French coin. Is it in leather? Government of Pakistan, nineteen forty-eight quarter rupee. Okay, I'll focus that. Just that looks a bit better. And a Netherlands one, that was again, 1996, 25 cents, or CT, I don't know, well, it might not be cents, they don't know. Year 2000, 10 cents from Malaysia. It's got like a weird sort of, properly sort of texture to it. Very cool. And what are we finishing off on? We are finishing off on... A very dirty Canadian 10 cent coin 1965. That's very dirty. I'm not gonna bother taking that with me when I let's go. I don't think I have to stay here. Up with that. Over there. Right, so that's bag number four all done now. And I shall be filming bag number five in a little bit actually. And that'll be posted about Wednesday I, th I reckon and I've got a little special bonus video at the end so you'll have to wait and see what that's all about all right thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>